The Chipola River is fed by more known springs than any river or creek in Northwest Florida. You may have been to Jackson Blue or the Blue Hole, Hole in the Wall, or Twin Caves. There are 63 recorded natural springs along the Chipola and dozens more that few people have ever seen. So the spring doesn't look very big, but it's huge. It's absolutely massive. Um, so it looks just like a tiny little alluvial spring almost, but it's not, it's a cave spring and it's deep. Uh, <laughs> I would say at least 12, 13 feet deep and there's silt around it, but there's rock where the cave opens. And it's a turquoise color and many different shades, um, all different kinds of blues and everything. This spring is high up the Spring Branch tributary of the river, not far from the town of Campbellton in Jackson County. It is on a hunting lease held for the most part by current and former wildlife officers. It may be soon named for a young wildlife officer who gave his life in the line of duty. For now, we just call it Kathy Spring, after Kathy Jackson, who helps to care for this beautiful place. We had a, one of our game wardens that was a retired lieutenant, Roy Burns said, and they raised their two children hunting out here. And little Roy grew up to be a game warden and was killed in a, on duty in a head-on collision with another officer and it killed both of them. And I'd like to eventually make a memorial in here to him because he, this was, this was where he grew up and this place meant the world to him. Mm. And this would be a, a beautiful spot to make a memorial to Little Roy. The third magnitude spring is formed by water rushing from a cave in the limestone rock that is so common in this area of Northwest Florida. Native Americans used it for thousands of years as a place for water and to fish. There's a great population of fish. Um, I saw two foot bass, I saw several brim, minnows. Uh, it's, it looks like a wonderful place to live for a fish in this quiet area. It's gorgeous. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised what kind of people came by here. Members of the Ward family were the first recorded settlers to live here. Their descendants are among those now seeking federal recognition in nearby Walton County as the Muscogee Nation of Florida. Hurricane Michael devastated the woods around this spring. A road was opened just so we could visit. When we asked if anyone had ever seen a Bigfoot in the thick wilderness, the answer was not what we expected. I don't know, probably something else we get at first. You think there's bigger predators? Probably a snake. I saw a snake eating another snake. This place is weird. Whoa, so this place is too dangerous for a Bigfoot is what you're telling me. To learn more about the beautiful natural springs of Florida, visit our website at twoeggtv.com. Deep in the woods near Campbellton, Florida, I'm Rachel Conrad for Two Egg TV.